Hello everyone, thanks for tuning to our latest Star Wars video. We're going to be talking about Star Wars The Last Jedi for today's uh, video. So we're at RottenTomatoes.com uh, and we're going to be talking about the audience score for The Last Jedi versus the audience score for Avengers Endgame, which is the huge juggernaut uh, film that uh, Marvel has just uh, released a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and uh, that's a huge, phenomenal uh, success. Uh, probably going to be the biggest film of uh, the year. I think The Rise of Skywalker at the end of this year is probably going to fall short of the total box office of Avengers Endgame because this film is just an absolute phenomenal uh, juggernaut. And uh, I'm going to talk about the audience score between the two of them. In a moment. Just to say that if you're enjoying the Star Wars content on this channel, then please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to build the channel back up after it's been dormant for around five years. We're building it back up with Star Wars content. So if you are enjoying the Star Wars content that we are releasing on this channel, can't do it every day. I'm busy doing other things um, with your day job. But uh, I try to get at least a couple of videos up once a week. So if you're enjoying them, please like, share and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think. Right, so RottenTomatoes.com. This is the page for The Last Jedi at Rotten Tomatoes. And look at this. We see that the tomato meter in terms of the critics score came out at 91%, a very, very positive score for The Last Jedi in terms of film critics. But the audience score uh, was rotten at 44%, which is a very, very poor audience score indeed, um, compared to the critics score, compared to the 91% that uh, critics gave. The Last Jedi. So, The Last Jedi, as with um, The Force Awakens, extremely well received by film critics. Film critics absolutely love Disney's Star Wars, far more than they uh, love George Lucas's Star Wars, except maybe with the exception of The Empire Strikes Back. But even that had mixed reviews on its release. It was only later on that uh, the critical consensus about even the original Star Wars film, uh, Star Wars films became positive. Even the original Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back were quite mixed with their reviews on the initial releases in 1977 and 1980. Retrospectively, they have become much more positive uh, with the uh, original films. The prequels, of course, as we know, the film critics hated The Phantom Menace, didn't care much for Attack of the Clones either. Revenge of the Sith was rather better reviewed. Um, but in terms of uh, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, the critics absolutely love uh, Disney's um, sequel trilogy so far. But the audience, now the audience really did like The Force Awakens as well. So the critic score, the Tomato Meter and the audience score were very closely aligned actually. For The Force Awakens. But then we get this huge divergence uh, for The Last Jedi. We get 91% for the critics score and only 44% for the audience score. Now there was a theory doing the rounds uh, when all this was going on back at the end of 2017 and early 2018, early last year. There was a theory that the audience score was being manipulated by uh, by Russian bots, by um, trolls, by uh, people with an axe to grind, you know, sort of toxic fans and um, that kind of thing. And that was what was driving down the audience score of what was actually a very well-liked, if not loved, uh, film with The Last Jedi. That was the theory. Let's have a look, though, at the audience score and critic score for Avengers Endgame. So, I say, this is a huge, huge juggernaut of a film. It's just steamroller, steamrolling everything at the box office at the moment. But look at that. The tomato meter score, the critic score, is a very, very positive 95%. So, critics love Avengers Endgame. But the audience score is also 90%. The audience loves Avengers Endgame as well. Now, my 
um, argument is that if it was Russian bots and uh, sort of toxic fans that were driving down the audience score on The Last Jedi, why isn't that happening on Avengers Endgame? Why would Russian bots target Star Wars The Last Jedi but not target uh, Avengers Endgame? Clearly, Avengers Endgame is uh, an extremely well-liked, if not loved, film by its audience, primarily. So you're never going to please ev absolutely every single person who goes to see any art. So there will be some people who didn't like Avengers Endgame, just like there's a few people that don't like The Empire Strikes Back, for example. But by and large... Avengers Endgame has a very, very positive uh, score of its audience. The audience uh, and the fans uh, of Marvel love uh, this film, or they like it a lot, and the critics do as well. The same is not true of The Last Jedi. The critics did like, if not love, The Last Jedi. The fans did not like The Last Jedi at all. It has absolutely nothing to do with Russian bots. It's nothing to do with Russian bots. It's nothing to do with toxic fandoms. The fact of the matter is, The Last Jedi is just a very, very poor film. It took our favourite character... Luke Skywalker and it character assassinated him it ruined his character for a large part of the film and then it killed him off in a very very unsatisfactory way and that as well as all of the other problems that The Last Jedi has in that it's very pretentious it's over long a lot of the humour really doesn't hit its mark it doesn't follow on from The Force Awakens particularly well uh, a lot of the things that The Force Awakens sets up I don't like The Force Awakens either personally but a lot of the things that The Force Awakens sets up it did set up a few interesting strands. All of those interesting strands are discarded with. They're thrown in the bin. Luke Skywalker tosses Anakin's lightsaber away, or his own lightsaber away, like it's a piece of trash in his first film. And it's just a continuous, after that scene, it's just a continuous sort of hammer blow against not only Luke Skywalker, but against Star Wars in general. So uh, it kind of like ruins uh, everything that falls away in the setup, and it also goes against a lot of what um, the original film, George Lucas's six original films, set up as well it actually bears no resemblance to star wars in a lot of ways it's kind of like a film that's spiraling off into its own dimension into its own realm and uh it doesn't really have much connection either with anything that's gone before it or what's going to come uh after it either so uh, it's just a very very poor film why 91 percent of critics um found this uh film before uh, the last uh, jedi a good film i don't know it's a very very poor film it's not only a really bad star wars film it's also a very very poor film generally and the negative audience score at 44 percent has absolutely nothing to do with russian bots if it was the russians if it was vlad if vlad was targeting uh western culture then why is vlad only targeting uh, the the Last Jedi. Why isn't Vlad targeting uh, Avengers Endgame? It's total nonsense. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's just an excuse um, to try and get Ryan Johnson, director of The Last Jedi, off the hook. Ryan is a very abrasive, obnoxious um, character. You know, he's he's out to sort of uh, to divide the fans. He's almost like a troll, really, within the Star Wars fandom. I've just done a video talking about people to make you and what a uh, shining example Peter was to fans of Stars. Nobody has a bad word to say about Peter Mayhew whatsoever. He was a genuinely lovely, lovely, lovely man. And uh, he, Harrison Ford even mentioned it in his uh, tribute to Peter Mayhew, the way Peter responded to the fans, the way Peter uh, loved the fandom of Star Wars, and at the other end, so that's at one end of the spectrum, at the other end of the spectrum, we have Ryan Johnson, who is continuously going up against the fans, he's on record has admitted that he wanted to create a film that would divide the fandom, he wanted to have his uh, sort of um, divisiveness uh, within The Last Jedi, and he certainly uh, achieved that, and so that is the reason 
Avengers Endgame has a 90% audience score, but The Last Jedi only has a 44% audience score. It's completely down to the fact that Ryan Johnson wanted to make a fan uh, a film that was divisive. He set out to make a film that would divide the fans that the fans wouldn't like, or a large portion of the fans wouldn't like, and he achieved it. Now, why he wanted to do that, I don't know. Why he couldn't just make uh, uh, a good Star Wars film, a sequel to uh, to um, The Force Awakens, a film that would honour all of the other characters uh, and films that have gone before it. I don't know. Only Ryan Johnson knows why he did that. Um, and only Kathleen Kennedy knows why she sanctioned it, why she let it happen. But that's what happened, and that is the reason The Last Jedi has a 44% audience score. And that would be a lot lower as well if if Rotten Tomatoes counted um, reviews that are either either have no stars, where the reviewer hasn't given any stars, or half-star reviews, if you go through those audience reviews, you will see that many, many of them have only half a star or no star. And um, Rotten Tomatoes only counts reviews as part of its audience score that is one star or more. A lot of people don't know that about Rotten Tomatoes. If that was widely known, that Rotten Tomatoes only counts the audience score with one star or more, they don't count half a star or no star reviews. If that was widely known, that would probably be half of that score, actually. That would probably be somewhere around 20%. Uh, audience score I would have thought so it would be much much worse actually that if people knew widely that they have to only give it one star to have their um, to have their review counted within the audience score it's not commonly known um, and if it was that would be much worse. It would be even worse than 44%. I think it would be half of that, probably somewhere around 20 to 25%. So anyway, the reason that it's such a low, poor audience score is purely due to the fact that Ryan Johnson made a bad film and all of the rubbish, all of the all of the nonsense, he said a swear word, Ben can't do that, naughty uh, Gavin, all of the nonsense and rubbish about Russian bots and toxic fans is just to muddy the water but if Vladimir Putin and the Russians really were targeting Western culture, they would be targeting Avengers Endgame just as hard as they apparently targeted The Last Jedi. The fact is, that is not happening. That is not what happened with The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi just has such a poor audience score because the audience, by and large, did not like this film. And that's all there is to it. And anything else is just uh, is just uh, rubbish. Right, so let me know what you think in the comments. Am I making sense with this? Does it add up what I'm saying here? Uh, the discrepancy between the audience score of these two films. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoy my Star Wars content on this channel. And we'll be back with more Star Wars content very, very soon. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.